Hello generals and welcome to part 3 of the Icelandia series. Today we are going to share with you interesting news about our sponsor that is going to deliver an interesting giveaway. Keep watching till the end to know further details. About our series today, we are going to continue this heated and dreadful uh, start of this campaign. United Kingdom has uh, chosen to attack us, but unlucky for him, he met with us. Now he is dying. I'm here. I'm really here inspecting Canada and uh, the north of all America to see what kind of threats we are going to deal here. We cannot focus on Europe without keeping an eye on the Americas. Well, Canada doesn't really seem like a huge threat. South America is uh, heated and it's all in chaos. Same goes to Europe. We are going to have always keep a look on Europe uh, to see the turn of events there. Baltic States is uh, making a fuss there, attacking Finland. Finland attacking Sweden. Um, Norway has been uh, totally um, conquered by Denmark. Poland and Germany, they are at war and France is intact. Now it's about time to uh, speak about the giveaway I was talking about. So I'm gonna present to you Paxify. The Icelandia series sponsor Paxify is a Discord community with over 10,000 members that helped our players save money through their Conflict of Nations purchases. And to celebrate the 10k members and the new up launch, they prepared a huge giveaway for us. $1,000 worth of bundles for the lucky person who will be picked by the Discord bot. Imagine that you can, imagine what can you buy from Conflict of Nations shop with $1,000. It's amazing. I would unlock all the seasonal units and buy a lifetime of Security Council membership. It would be super helpful. Well, I already joined the contest through the link in description and joined the Discord server. When will you join me there, guys? The winner will be announced on the 10th of May. Let's go! Let's go back now to our series. Uh, a new wave of destroyers has been mobilized. Um, our invasion on United Kingdom is developing uh, step by step uh, due to the lack of land forces of us. So I'm really, I'm, I need to wait for my destroyers to kill the land forces that are still remaining in United Kingdom and in um, Ireland. Uh, as you can see here, our destroyers that are engaging some land forces in that city. At the same time, I'm trying to claim as much provinces as possible to uh, stop this war and uh, start preparing for the next threat. From what I read now in this situation, the most imminent threat is going to be France, because France is not at war yet. He is active, he is building, delivering and mobilizing units. And he is so far the most uh, close nation to us, to our borders. So yeah, Germany is busy with uh, Poland, Benelux uh, is not that strong. Um, Spain is at war with uh, Portugal and he is still uh, needing time to clean off Portugal. The North of America also might be a threat, so that is why I'm going. I sent some destroyers to the victory site of uh, Greenland, Nuke. I there found uh, some uh, uh, United British forces. Of course, it is now uh, taken by Great Britain, but it's only a matter of time until I take it off. Okay, United Kingdom has been claimed, has been conquered. Our first invasion was totally successful, and look at this. We have an intruder all the way to the north. Mauritania, what are you doing here? And look at that. Mauritania has level 5 motorized infantry and level 1 mobile tank. And now we are at war. I don't know how we are at war. Maybe by accident. Maybe he declared war on us. But this is super weird. From where I see it, Mauritania is a victory site hunter. There is some players like this in these type of maps like like the overkill maps, like nuclear winter, where, where we can find the victory sites. There are a lot of players that come to this game, hunt the victory sites. They do not engage in war or in wars, only to hunt victory sites and that's it. They claim the game, win it and etc. Okay, now after we conquered United Kingdom, I'm starting, I'm starting to prepare and uh, positioning my navies for France. From where I see it here, the Bay of Biscay and the English Channel is closed by uh, a naval radar. 100% is going to belong for uh, France, especially that he has naval bases. And we will assume that he has corvettes or frigates. There is also an air contact north of Calais. The position of these uh, contacts, radars, 
only uh, tells us that France is taking some precautions from us because he 100% thinks that we conquered United Kingdom successfully, he will be the next target. So France is preparing for us, but he does not know that my naval officer is not coming from the north. He is going to come for him from the Mediterranean Sea. 100% he's not going to expect that, especially that in the city of Marseille he has a level 2 naval base and that is a priority for me to be destroyed. Destroying his naval base, crippling his economy and stopping his naval ships and ball ships. Uh, mobilization is very important for us to keep the naval superiority in all of these waters. I will position my navies nearby, waiting for my naval officer to be in position and scouting the area for any kind of naval radars to appear in this region. And uh, if everything is clear, we will launch our assault. Look at that. France has level 3 air superiority fighters. We have only level 1 air superiority fighters. I have 4, he has 3. So air-to-air -air contact in this situation is not going to be wise. Is not going to be wise at all because we will be, yeah, we will face some bad, bad outcome. But the good thing that we have the Western Doctrine Air Superiority Fighters, which are better, stronger than the Euro European Doctrine. We have better um, damage. But like I said, air-to-air -air contact is not going to be uh, a feeble, is not, is not going to be a reliable uh, a war here or a battle here because uh, I'm gonna need to hunt his air superiority fighters while they are gone. Meanwhile, we will need better air to ground force to kill his infantry and kill his land targets. Now that I started the research and I have the research of air superiority fighters, I can start the research of the elite attack aircrafts. So I'm not going for the strike fighters like you asked me guys in the comment section. Instead, I'm going for the elite attack aircrafts. So I'm gonna need to level up my army, uh, my arms, uh, my airbase to level three, sorry. And also I'm gonna need to start the research of the elite attack aircraft. I do not know why I am at war with Norway. Maybe Norway when he was falling, he declared war on everyone on the map. And look at this mess, the Baltic States versus Balkan Union. Well, that is for sure a huge war there. It's a big mess and uh, I do not want to be involved in there. More land contacts appeared while I am scouting and patrolling over his lands with my air superiority fighters. You are going to ask me how I am patrolling over his lands and did not declare war. Well, when I patrol, I fly my air superiority fighters on the rivers. You see, there is a river near the Paris complex and as as much as you patrol or as long as you patrol over uh, waterways rivers uh, and uh, seas or oceans war is not going to be declared so this is a smart way and a smart tip to declare uh, to patrol scout and spy without declaring war and exposing yourself So yeah, uh, we are not going to sell in this game, looks like uh, action after an action, especially now that France is presenting a huge threat for us. Look at that recon division or maybe a um, battle, uh, main battle tank uh, division. So yeah, more aircrafts grounded in Paris, looks like he is spamming air superiority fighters. God knows what he is spamming as well because he has the level 2 airbase, maybe strikers or attack helicopters, we never know. We will only know when we declare war and discover what he has. I do not think it's going to be a smart idea to travel to Paris. Maybe he has corvettes securing his capital. So first of all, I'm gonna need to uh, clear all the waters with my destroyers and uh, naval ships. And after that, I will land my uh, land forces. I do not want them to be, uh, to be catched up in the waters like exactly like what happened to United Kingdom. Okay guys, we are at the end of today's episode. Do not forget to join the link in the description to participate in the giveaway. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye.